Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. In this video, we are going to discuss the much awaited feature by Tableau 2022.3, which is the dynamic zone visibility. Now, those of you who are new to this channel, let me tell you about myself. I have a decade long working experience where I found my Ikigai in helping people when they are stuck with data problems. I love to experiment with colors and paint my own canvas by analyzing data that can help others take actions. What are we going to cover in this video? We're going to cover what is dynamic zone visibility that is launched as a new feature in the Tableau 2022.3. And how is this different from using parameters and actions that we used to do as a workaround in the previous versions? We'll also discuss some use cases and examples, and I'm going to show you three different examples that you can follow along with me using the sample superstore data to be able to learn this particular feature. I have done a lot of hard work in order to get this video to you guys. So just in case, if you like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do like this video. Now let's begin. We all want to have a dynamic dashboard and we all would agree that it is always better than a static one. We want to interact with the dashboard based on the selections that the users are making or based on the regions or the geographies from which these users are logging in. Using dynamic zone visibility feature, you can hide or reveal zones that could be tiled or floating on your dashboard. And based on the values of a field or parameter, create this interactivity. When you combine this with parameter actions, you can also swap sheets or create unique visuals that can cater to different kind of audiences for your dashboard. Before we get into these examples, I want you guys to understand that this is supported with only a few field types. The first value that can be taken into consideration for controlling visibility is of a Boolean value, which could be a true or a false, a yes or a no, or a zero and one. The second type is a single value. So anything where you have one value can be used and can be supported for this kind of dynamic switching. And finally, if you have an LOD that can return you a constant value or a single value again, can also be used for this kind of purpose. Anything else that is not supported would not be visible on your control visibility using options under the layout menu. So if you want the fields to be shown uh, or being used for dynamic visibility, you have to make sure that it follows or supports either of these three field types. So let's begin with our first one, which is to show hide views on the go. For this, I've already created this dashboard, which has two charts that you can see. Now here, I want to be able to see the detailed table only if I click on the button down below the pie chart. For this, I'm creating a parameter and let's call this as a show and hide parameter. Okay. Once this is created, I'm going to specify the data type as Boolean. And when it is true, this should have a value of show. Otherwise it is hide and false. Click OK. Now, if I show this parameter over here and I try to change these values, let's just color code it as white so that it's easier to see. Now, if I change these values from show to hide, no action is taken. Right. Ideally, if you were doing this in anything before Tableau 2022.3, what you would have to do is create a calculated field, which takes in the value of this parameter and then use that right on the shelf to make sure that you are able to interact with it. So I'll just quickly show you how we used to do it before in the previous versions of Tableau. So you had to create this calculation where if the parameter is equal to true, then we'll show. Otherwise we will hide. Okay. You can add that else statement as well. So once this is created, what you would do is you'll pull this onto the filter shelf and either select show or use a custom value in enter show and click on the plus button, right? And click. Okay. So this way 
यू आर एबल टू नाउ शो एंड हाइड दिस पर्टिक्युलर व्यू सो दिस इज द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच राइट नाउ लेट मी जस्ट गो हैड एंड रिमूव दिस फ्रॉम द फिल्टर एंड ऑल्सो जस्ट डिलीट दिस फील्ड सो दैट वी जस्ट डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज ओके नाउ हाउ डिड टैब्लो कम अप विद दिस न्यू डायनेमिक जोन विजिबिलिटी फीचर यू डोंट रियली हैव टू क्रिएट दिस कैलकुलेशन ऑल दैट यू हैव टू डू इज गो टू ले आउट गो टू कंट्रोल विजिबिलिटी एंड देन सिलेक्ट दिस शो हाइट पैरामीटर सो नाउ वेन यू स्विच बिटवीन द शो एंड हाइट यू विल बी एबल टू डू दैट लेट मी क्विकली मूव दिस डाउन बिलो सो दैट दिस फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ डिटेल टेबल इज अवेलेबल वेन यू चेंज दिस पैरामीटर वैल्यू ओनली Okay let's begin with our next one which is swapping sheet based on a parameter selection to enable this functionality i've already pre-created these three different charts which is a bar chart a line chart and a table and if you see you can see these values over here for profit and sales by different quarters and a line chart and also a table so these are the three charts that i want to be able to swap okay now Uh, to do this we will be using the dynamic zone visibility along with the parameter actions in order to do that okay so the first thing that we do is first go ahead and create a parameter now since this parameter cannot be a boolean parameter it has to be a string parameter because we have more than two values i'll provide a list of all the values that we want which is the bar chart the line chart and the table and click on okay once you do that as you know based on our initial conversation around what should be the values that are supported we will have to create a calculated field over here so that we are able to retain retain a single value from this particular parameter so what i'm doing here is i'm just checking if the chart type is equal to bar chart then it returns true otherwise it's going to return a false so this returns a single value now Similarly we are going to duplicate this particular field and change it to adapt for the different charts that we want to show in our dashboard which is the line chart and also the same thing is being repeated for the table So let's just replace the chart type here with table Okay once all of these three different calculations are created all these three boolean calculations are created earlier in the previous versions of tableau you would have to drag and drop each one of them onto the sheets you don't have to do that anymore just go to layouts control visibility and select each of these fields that we have just now created once you do that you can see some of these getting hidden behind because only one value is selected which is for the bar chart currently So now you can see the bar chart is filled entirely in that particular container. Let's also bring in the parameter and hide the title. Now if I switch between a bar chart line chart, you can see the line chart over here. Similarly, you can see the table over here. So the same space is being utilized by three different charts if there is a need of doing so. Now this traditional filter looks boring. so i'm going to make a new hack over here and going to show you how you could make a quick interactive thing here so in excel i'm entering all of these values that are possible for the parameter to take copying and going into the sheet okay just paste it click anywhere and paste it you will see this clipboard data that's being pasted over here now you can move this and create any kind of chart using these three values okay so i'm just going to make use of some colors and also shapes to be able to show these values so right now i'm fitting it to an entire view and as you can see i'm going to change the marks card to the shape now in my previous videos i've already covered how you can create some of these shapes i'm doing this using a presentation as well myself and saving this to the my tableau repository will help me get these shapes on the uh, on the shape shelf okay once i've loaded all the shapes i'm just going to one by one pick the right shapes for each of these different values once you have picked all of these let's just also arrange the labels so that it's center and bottom and we can also color code these shapes so i'm color coding them and also making sure that the label is of the same color as the 
color that we have assigned to the icon okay so once we are done with creating this particular sheet which i am calling as the parameter switching sheet we'll head back to the uh, to our dashboard and pull the sheet that we just created onto over here okay once this is added let's just resize and hide the title and just move it to a place where uh, we can easily access it let's also remove the background so that it just fits in well on this dashboard and that's all okay so now if i click on any of this no action takes place to make the action happen you have to go to dashboard click on actions next add action and then click on change parameter next let's just give this a simple name and then make sure that you select the sheet that you just created which is the parameter switching on select we want this to be able to take the value of the chart type parameter and the source for field would be the values in this particular uh, extra data source that we just created now if i just click on these you can see how these values are changing this is such a simple way of doing a swap sheet using dynamic zone visibility so for the third one we are going to change the dashboard views based on what you select on a chart so for this we are again going to uh, use these chart which is the pie chart and when you click on something over here these uh, sheets should swap so i've already pre-created again three different sheets over here the first one is consumer profit by region corporate sales by region and home office quantity by region as you can see all of these are different one of them is a filled map the other one is a bubble chart and the other one is also a size map right now when you click on this and make this as a filter only thing that happens is the values are changing not the charts are not swapping amongst each other right so for this again what are we going to do is we are going to create a parameter like we did in the previous example and let's call this as a segment parameter now this is again a string parameter but this time it is going to take values from a field which is already existing in the source which is our segment field so you can see these are the three values which is consumer corporate and home office let's click on ok and now let's go ahead and create the similar way we created these calculated field in our previous second example we are going to create these calculated field for consumer filtering where we use the segment parameter and check if it is equal to consumer then we'll keep this as true else this is false and similarly we are going to just duplicate this for corporate and home office so i'll just do this quickly over here let's change this for corporate filtering the value should be equal to corporate and then similarly let's also change it for home office and the segment parameter value should be equal to home office now click on ok now we are not going to drag any of this to filter we are just going to head back to our dashboard and go into the layout by selecting the sheet go into the layout click on control visibility and then just select this field that we created which is consumer filtering for corporate we are going to go ahead and select corporate filtering and finally for home office we'll go ahead and select the home office filtering field from the control visibility option now as you can see if we had a parameter we are able to switch between these different sheets but we are not able to do that control using this pie chart that we have so similarly we are going to create an action for change parameter here let's select the pie chart now once you select that you need to select a target parameter on selection we want to change the segment parameter and set value equal to the segment click on ok click on ok now if you see when you click on the corporate the chart is changing and based on the selections that you make on the left side your right side chart is changing so this is one of the great ways in which you can use dynamic visibility for your clients and they can benefit based on their selections to the dashboard. I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I know that these features have been available in the previous Tableau versions but unfortunately there were a few issues that we always faced like you always had to 
hide the title of the sheet or there was an extra space in between the two sheets when you were trying to hide them but now with this new feature it is so much seamless for you to be able to swap sheets or to create visuals based on your user group and your user type I hope this video will help you and if you have any kind of questions let's work it out together please feel free to reach out to me or connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter and I'm always available to help you guys so let me know in case you have any questions and don't forget to hit the subscribe button until then see you on the next one bye bye